If you want to see what's been named the most popular destination in Kansas, then stick around because I'm here in Lawrence, Kansas with my boyfriend Heath. And in this episode of the Travel Tibbet, we're going to show you the things that we saw and did during our visit to help you plan yours. So the first area we went to was to the University of Kansas campus. That's where it all happens. And we started at the Spencer Museum of Art. They have a collection of more than 45,000 pieces and they are the only comprehensive art museum in the state of Kansas. So more than 100,000 people visit it every year, including me and Heath. And uh, there was just all kinds of stuff to see here. It was very interesting and interactive. And then we went over to the Natural History Museum, which is also on the campus. Very convenient. It's part of the KU Biodiversity Institute. So they're all about acquiring, curating, and studying collections of plants, animals, fossil material, and cultural artifacts. There are four floors of public exhibits. So you could really spend all afternoon here if you wanted to, which unfortunately we didn't have that much time because we had to head to our next spot, which was the DeBruce Center, also on the KU campus. Go figure. This place is all about basketball. It's been called a cathedral of college basketball. The game was invented by Dr. James Naismith almost 127 years ago, and he was Canadian. Uh, but he lived at KU for most of his life. His original rules of basketball are housed here in this $22 million facility. But then of course, after learning about basketball, we wanted to watch a game as well because people here, as you might imagine, are really into college basketball. They are Jayhawks fans to the death. So we went and checked out some of the memorabilia here in the Allen Field House and then actually checked out a game. This place has been considered one of the best places in America to watch a college basketball game. And they've had more than 5 million people do that since the mid 60s. It seats over 16,000 people. And as you can see, it was packed and the fans do this thing called a rock chalk chant which is really interesting to experience they really get into these games and finally we went to explore downtown Lawrence because it's been called one of the most beautiful historic downtown districts in the country it's been the heart of the city since it was founded in 1854 and yes parade magazine named it the most popular tourist destination in Kansas so the main street is Massachusetts Street, although it's better known as Mass Street to the locals, or just Mass if you're cool enough. It's got all kinds of shops and restaurants up and down it, and a bench where you can eat donuts. <laughs> and those are the things that we saw and did in Lawrence. I'll put links to all of them in the description below, and click over there to see our previous videos, and make sure you subscribe if you're new, because on Thursday we're gonna have a hotel hangout, and then next week we'll have a new destination to show you. Bye. Bye.